My bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! White God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man! I swear! I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! You gotta ask Copeland! I don't know nothing! Hey! My bike! I didn't do nothing! Oh, God damn it, all right now, but kill him. Hey, open up! Open up! Hey, Meadows! Open up! St. John, is that you? Some son of a bitch stole my bike! I don't know nothing about that. You gotta go talk to the man. Ha! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once, Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop, farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. How to focus your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. It didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Geek, and let's talk. You had some trouble. Got hit hard last night. Rippers again. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. But go enough days without food. Well, we'll see how it is. Lake not holding out? We get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left to stock with fish gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. You used to go hunting out here with the old man. You build deer blinds out here. Put down salt licks below us. Pick them off clean. Some winners had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law. United States Constitution. He could only see us now. America, the land of the free. We are that. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Tuck said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike. That your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cope, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some loans for me. Cope. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. 
A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. Well, Dick, Dick, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Booster, you there? Yeah, Deke. How you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay, uh... I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some, uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out. Make sure the mountain's clear. Those are, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. I guess. Um, I guess, uh, you know, I could. I could do something for the pain. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. This is it. The Nero checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for Boozer's arm. Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Boozer, you there? Boozer, goddammit, answer me. He's not picking up. Where the hell is he? St. John, this is Cope. When you get to the tower, the radio uplink is gonna shut down. I'll pay you for the story. So these men, you know, can shut down radio free work and seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules of stealing, raping, murdering. Well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. Hey, Boozer, I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Boozer. Hey. Oh, ah! Jump! Hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Oh, You're blowing your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. I got All it! All right! Deke? Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. One more thing. When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Cope, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Cope out. Do what you can, son of a bitch.
generator but it's been shot to hell okay that should do it there we go drop it if you had bullets I wouldn't be breathing now would I please mister I don't shoot women if I have a choice do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. Got here a map. Yes. Dick, you there? It's probably nothing. You sounded like bike engines riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. Hey, Dick, you okay? You don't sound like like yourself. It's not. It's nothing. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Lucky for me, she was, uh, out of ammo. You let her go, didn't you? Okay. Yeah, fuck. Yes, yes, I let her go. One of these days, Deke, that code of yours is gonna get you killed. Yeah, well, something's gonna do it, right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. Jesus, what a climb. All right. Let's see what the hell Wizard's talking about. We're right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No. God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Ah, oh, shit. It's just... I'm going a little stir crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Dick and out. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down, and I've restored your radio uplink. Copy that. You may not see the value in St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> no, Cope, the only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're wrong about that. Radio Free Oregon. Jesus, what have I done? Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. I'll find out when I get there. Deacon out. Booze man, you were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of the sons of bitches. That was kind of the plan. Deacon out. Something's moving.
that's the last of them. <laughs> Stay down, I'll walk for Leary Mountain. Boozer, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke, I should have been there to help. I mean, I... Shit. Just rest up, booze man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Booze. You heading out? Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, Boozer. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North? Yeah. Deke, you there? D did you say you were heading north? Booze man, no. You know I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Third degree burns through that. So, take care of Alvarez, you know. Deke, means a lot to me. Take care of her, loser. Just get some rest. Deke and out. Deke! Oh, God damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in. Drug out of his mind. Shot the place up, then he just took off. And he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taken. I'll find him. Rest in peace. They can't get you now. Weeping Angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Which way? Uh, maybe in one of these. <laughs> got it. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Boozer! Booze man, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper! Uh, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there! Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing! Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. And don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Got it. Oh, shit, where was I? 
We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling up grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. King O'Brien. Didn't you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. Right these are here. stage three. Just with my baby, sir. And I asked if you were going with him. I can't be. Didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. So I would tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was foobar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Seal the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see me. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Hero, soldier. Cook Sarah. What are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? O'Brien. Shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look, I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you... you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke, don't... I'm not, Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh, get some sleep. I took care of it. Thanks, brother. She'd do the same for us. Yeah, she would have. Deacon out. Hey, Cope, this man I'm tracking down. Who'd he kill? Why do you care? It's just another bounty job, isn't it? Now, look, I don't care. I just want to know their names. Who, Cope? One of them is a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? No. Guess not. You find that son of a bitch. You radio me. Copeland out. Silver helmet. Red gas tank. That's him. Oh, shit. What the hell? So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp. I shoot the place up. That about right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out like you just... chopping. Damn it! Who are you, drifter? You working for Copeland? on that. 
Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give drifters a bad name. But what if you'd shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You want to cope with Stonies? You little bitch! That's what you are! You little bitch! Cope, it's done. I got him. You tell Marked him. on these coordinates and send your man out here. You hear me? Is he hey, alive? Hey, Drifter. Drift, Drifter. Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. Boozer, you there? I was just calling to check up on you. Yeah, Deacon, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we'll ride north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. God, I miss you on the road. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you. Everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet, solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry. This job's got to get done, whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them. How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alkai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. You want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me.